I previously described how to use Android Studio to create bitmap files for your launcher icons. You can also create vector graphics. These are XML files. They describe graphical images that will adjust automatically to different screen sizes and pixel densities. So unlike the files in your MipMap directory where you need multiple versions for different screens, when you use vector assets, you only need one. I'll go to my app module and right click, and I'll choose New Vector Asset. You can create these vector assets either from clipart or from your own Photoshop or SVG files. I'll use clipart, and as with bitmap images, you can search for the icons you need. I'll type the string add, and then I'll choose this icon for adding something to my application. You can adjust the color of the icon by clicking here, and then I'll scroll up to see different color possibilities. I'll create this as a blue icon. I'll click Next, and I'll click Finish. And that will create an XML file in my drawable directory. I'll go to that directory, and I'll double-click to open the icon. And notice that you can look at the icon in Code, Split, or Design View. For this particular icon, notice that the fill color is set using an attribute, and if I move the cursor over that attribute, I'm told that the resource reference won't work correctly in images on older versions of Android. What happens in the background when you use this kind of file when Android Studio and Gradle build your application, they'll include that fill color as an attribute for APKs generated for newer versions of Android. But they'll also generate fixed PNG files that will be used on the older versions. Once you've generated that file, you can use it as any other image. So for example, I'll go to my main activity class. I'll hold down Control on Windows or Command on Mac and click into the layout file. Then I'm going to drag an image view into place. For the source of the image view, I'll choose my new icon, and then I'll click and drag to anchor this to the bottom right. I'll select and drag it upward a little bit so it's not directly in the corner, and I'm looking for those guidelines that appear. I'll then look at the generated code, and I've created an image view that uses that new vector graphic. Now, when I move the cursor over the source compat attribute in code, I'm told I need to use this syntax in my Gradle file. So I'm going to select and copy that syntax from the error message. Then I'll go to my build.gradle file. I'll click into the Android section, and I'll paste that code into place. Notice android.defaultconfig is an element that already lives up here. So what I can then do is cut and paste this and put it in the default config section. I no longer need that. I'll click Sync Now. I'll come back to my layout file, and that error has gone away. And when I run the application, I see my new graphic appear in the lower right corner of the app. So these vector assets can be used in a lot of different ways. They can be used as simple images, as I did here, but very commonly, they can be used as icons for the toolbar and menus. By using a vector graphic, you only need one to support all the different devices that are out there in the Android market.